Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Naka. I make videos on personal finance, beauty, lifestyle, skincare, all of that fun stuff. It's been a minute since I posted a video on YouTube, so I thought this would be the perfect video to kind of just get back and get back into my life. Like, welcome into my home. So throughout this video today, we're going to be doing a tour of my one bedroom Williamsburg apartment. Disclaimer, this is a rent controlled unit and I will be sharing how much I pay and rent at the end of the video, uh, but just to give you a heads up, I do pay less than market rate. Um, other than that, make sure you subscribe so you can keep up with me and let's just get right into this video. Great, so I want to kind of give you guys the option. Do you want to start in the living room, dining room, kitchen, the bedroom, or the bathroom? Pick your own adventure. Oh, well, just kidding. This is a Netflix. We're starting in the bedroom. <laughs> okay, so we're standing in my bedroom right now. I actually need to flip this around so you guys can see. I have this really cute, like, um full-length mirror here when you walk in so that's really nice my laundry hamper is right there there's also like this little bookshelf tower thing that I'm absolutely obsessed with like if you love to read like I do this is a fucking game changer man um and then when you come in I do have just like a little I guess work area here even though I don't really use it too much for work. Um, I have a bunch of just like yoga stuff and like workout stuff here. We do have a gym in my building, which is nice, but um, definitely don't use it as much as I should. Here, you'll see my little kitty cat sleeping in his little corner. So cute. But the piece of resistance really about this whole apartment is truly the views so it's a bit of a cloudy day right now um so you can't see as much as you usually could but you can see long island city here um and then if you kind of turn this corner you can really see the empire state building on a non-cloudy day this is my bed so cute and i'm super obsessed with just like personalized journals and planners. So I usually leave these on my bed because that's where I do the most journaling. But I'm gonna do like a full 360 now. Oh my gosh, the closet. This is truly the best thing. So it has a really nice size closet. And I got these little shelves from Ikea. They're like super helpful. And I truly have just packed this closet full and probably need to get rid of some stuff, honestly. And close that. Whew. So that's kind of like my bedroom. Let me put you guys down somewhere. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. bit of an awkward angle but it works um yeah so this is my bedroom it's a really really good size for a New York apartment honestly I would say this is the largest bedroom I've ever had in New York and before I was like renting rooms so that's really saying a lot like even when you have roommates bedrooms typically aren't this size um but I really I really love this place it's so great uh Anything else about it? Oh, here. So on my bed here, I really want to like paint this. I don't know if I want to do like wallpaper maybe or paint, but definitely want to put something like kind of against this cute little backdrop just to make the headboard stand out. I got this from Ikea. It's amazing. I really love it. Um, and then most of my sheets are Brooklinen. The astrology ones are from... I want to say Urban Outfitters. Um, and then I got this pillow from Marshalls. Let me see. Anything else about my bedroom? I honestly think that's it. The windows are super huge, so the lighting is amazing, especially when I'm kind of facing the window. 
So that's my bedroom, which we just did. And then here I have just this little mirror. I got it from Ikea. Super cute, I love it. Here I also wanna do like a collage type thing. I think that would be really cute just to take like selfies and stuff here. Um, and then below I have my cat's litter box that's like disguised as a, a faux plant right now. Um, I think I'm gonna do another litter box situation, but not really sure what I'm gonna do right now at the moment, but definitely a work in progress. Uh, but when you come in to the apartment, so this is the entrance. Um, I have another closet here, which is just filled with like coats, cleaning supplies, like paper towel and stuff, linen, sheets, things of that nature, pretty regular stuff. So when you come in straight ahead is the bedroom. And then if you hook a left, you come into the bathroom. Honestly, like my favorite room. So we have this huge mirror. This came with the apartment. I fucking love it. Amazing for selfies. I take so many here. Um, and then on my sink, I just have like my makeup brushes, some toothpaste, toothbrush, toothpaste, floss, um, some bathroom spray for, you know, when people take shits at your place, uh, some soap. And then I just like to keep my um, my double cleanse steps out here. So I've been using this oat milk latte cleanser, which I really like. And then this, you see the people cleansing balm. Don't like it that much, but you know, I bought it and it's there. So that's that. One of my favorite, favorite, favorite things about this bathroom is this like little built-in shower caddy. So I was able to actually get rid of my shower caddy. And we have a three shower head situation here. So we have like the regular shower top and then we have this spray thing, which is really nice. Um, oh, and then we just have the tub. Is that, is that three? I don't know. I was really excited. But then the tub is like really nice and deep too, which I also love. So I take a lot of baths in here. Um, Toilet, I mean, a toilet is a toilet, not <laughs> much to see there, but then we have this really nice like, kind of storage unit um, behind the door, which is nice. So it's like really hidden and like honestly when it's closed, it takes up like no space. I literally lived here for two months before I even knew that this was here. So here I just keep my perfumes, some skincare stuff, more skincare stuff, um like an extra shower gel um some vaseline obviously sunscreen vagina stuff an extra moisturizer i love this so much like you can see here i have an empty version of it and <laughs> i've already brought a new one um and then just like some nail stuff some nail polish down here here i've been keeping a lot of my skincare empties because i want to make a video about it but one day at a time i really 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 love this but that is a different video for a different day um otherwise any questions about the bathroom honestly my favorite room in the place oh and I got the shower caddy thing, so when I do take baths, I can just like put this here, you know, you get the idea. And it matches like this, like perfectly. It's just, oh, it's so great, so great. Um, let me see. I think that's really it for the bathroom. I honestly don't think I'm gonna do much to this space. Except maybe put like a poster or something here. But otherwise, I think it's good. Like I have enough storage. Oh. So here I just keep like some makeup stuff, some hair stuff. And down here is like most of my hair stuff. Um, an extra like little loofah, hairspray, uh, blow dryer, some cotton balls. This thing, I literally keep all of my like little scrunchies in here. Um, some pimple patches, some vagina stuff. But yeah, like it has enough storage. I don't think I even like really need to put anything else in here. It's perfect. 
And then this is the kitchen. So we have these really beautiful like matte black cabinets, which I love. I just keep um, some cat stuff in there. Um, and then we have these down here. I keep my toaster down here, some extra candles, um, miscellaneous things like mason jars and stuff. I also keep my handheld Dyson down here and then I keep my big Dyson in the entryway closet that we saw earlier. Um, nice deep sink, which I also love so much. Um, and then this is probably my favorite part. So we have like a hidden uh, refrigerator situation, which is really nice. And then also like a hidden freezer situation that I love. Hidden dishwasher, like, ah, uh, it does not get much better than this. And then obviously under the sink, I just keep more cleaning stuff extra like paper bags like you know shopping bags whatever here i'm not really sure what i'm going to do with the space but i typically keep just like teas um dish towels and like baking stuff in here and then obviously we have some silverware stuff um oven stuff like random cooking stuff um and this is where i usually keep all my pots and pans oven it's really nice it's like um oh wow it looks so weird on the camera um it's just a regular oven like you choose if you want whatever function here and then that's where you choose the temperature and then i just have a electric stove i prefer gas but you know you can't have everything and then <laughs> i recently made some zucchini bread so it's just sitting there um and then my latest and greatest purchase for the kitchen is this island. I think I might want to move it a little bit more into the kitchen, but right now it acts as like a barrier between like my kitchen and the rest of my space. Just have some of these little plants. My mom got me this, um, not the plant, but she got me the pot. Um, I got this from Ikea, have some sage here, more notebooks, some books, because I'm always reading and writing stuff. And then this came from Ikea when I bought this thing overall. I have my bag up there just because I was cleaning and it was in the way. Um, and then I also bought these cute little like hanging planters from Ikea that I do want to like at some point hang somewhere. Just don't know when yet. Okay, so we are just about at the end of the tour. I definitely should get a ring light. You guys can barely fucking see me. Um, but I really like, oh, actually, let me find my view over here. Hey, bitch. Okay, that's a little better. Um, so we're almost at the end of the tour. Really, what's left is just like my kind of living room space. But my absolute favorite part of this apartment are the floor to ceiling windows. Like, look at that, bitch. Look at that. It's amazing. Um, and then I also have one over here. So the views honestly are the best part of the apartment. So let me flip you over. Here you can see the train station. It's like right there. I wish there was a train going by, but whatever. So I have this really nice window here, floor to ceiling. Um, here's kind of just where I keep my kitty stuff. But here's kind of like an overview of what my living room situation is looking like again this apartment is super spacious especially for a new york apartment um right now i just have my tv on the floor <laughs> one day i will get it mounted but i actually want to get a smaller couch so this is what my couch situation is looking like i want to get a smaller couch and actually put it where the tv is right now but for now i just have this couch this little side table that i got from a west am sample sale this couch is also west elm but i got it off of like facebook marketplace for 500 dollars. so such a steal here is my like array of plants um that one day i will have and some planters one day uh but right now they're kind of just hanging out and chilling here's the view you can almost 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 see the empire state building just not quite it's a little too cloudy but um i overlooked the bqe which is super nice and super convenient for like 
Ubering and stuff. I'm like right off the highway. Um, but overall, yeah, this is my apartment. I really love it. Hey guys, so as promised, since you made it to the end of the video, I will be sharing exactly how much I pay and rent. So right now I pay 230, wait, $2,362 a month. That, it's so much. I still pay an arm and a leg even though it's rent controlled. <laughs> it's so much money a month to pay and rent, but it's all good. I really love my apartment as you can see, like the floor, ceiling windows, the hidden appliances, the beautiful spacious bathroom, and just like all the views. Totally make it worth it to me. Um, market rate like other one bedrooms in this building go for like 3300 a month sometimes even 4000 a month i haven't seen my exact kind of floor plan and layout listed but comparable buildings are definitely like 4000 a month and in this building in particular when i did see other one bedrooms they were listed for 3300 a month so saving a thousand a month you know love it love to see it um yeah but that is really everything on my end i am going to be doing some kind of diy decorating projects <laughs> decorating projects in um my apartment so if you want to kind of stay tuned for the evolution of my apartment make sure you subscribe i think the first project i'm going to do is the collage roll i want to do in the hallway between uh, the bathroom and like my bedroom so stay tuned for that video but otherwise thank you so much for watching my name is Nika follow me on Instagram on uh, Twitter you know all the different socials and I will see you guys in my next video thank you